Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching another episode of... What are we doing today? We're gonna clean our La Creuset pots. So I have purchased this La Creuset pots over a decade. So I believe I purchased it back in like 2008. So definitely very, very long time. So I've been using it without a deep cleaning. So I decided to um, do a video on how you're gonna deep clean using the La Creuset, uh, in this case, the cleaner and the protector. Is it worth buying? I will give you all the insights as I do the video. You might have seen another video that I have done previously on stove, how to clean and care for your La Cucat. So I will put the link in the description box below as well as a link above if you want to check that out. But friends, uh, I am going to be showing you how to do this with this cleaning product. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is a 26 centimeter La Creuset here. And as you can see, after years of cooking, you can see the interior have some stain. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how does how you uh, how we can use the La Creuset uh, cleaner and protector for the enamel cast iron cookware, and you can be the judge if you want to purchase one of these cleaner from La Creuset. It is quite pricey, so let me just demonstrate this for you here. So before you can make your decision in terms of buying one of these. Okay, so to use the cleaner, you want to make sure you shake the cleaner. All right, so make sure you shake this before you use it. And then simply using a wet paper towel, a moist paper towel. And we are going to just squeeze and apply some of these cleaner in to the pot. And just with our paper towel here that I folded, and we're just going to kind of clean with a circular mo motion here. So you can see my paper towel here, there is removal of those stain here, draw directly transfer over to the paper towel. So that's a good sign. So I found it, I used the damp paper towel first, and then I used a dry paper towel which I think it's more effective that way if you have heavy stain like my pot. Okay, so I think I got most of, most of the stain out as much as possible here. Unfortunately, there's some stain here on the side that's really hard to get off. So let me take a snap a photo first here. Okay, so um, I you can see the results in terms of how it came out. In my opinion, is it worth approximately like $25 for this bottle? Uh, in my opinion, you might be actually worth using uh, baking soda instead to actually just clean it. 
uh, do your regular cleaning to prevent any like real stain that goes into the La Creuset. Um, overall, I'm just saying that this might be a little bit pricey, okay? <clears throat> I mean, it does most of the job, I mean, considering over a decade of use without a, any deep cleaning, it did remove a lot of stain that was uh, inside, okay? But as you use it definitely in the interior, as well as the interior of the pot, there will be some darkening. If I put a brand new pot in comparison with this, there's going to be a noticeable difference. Okay, so as you can see, the interior of the pot, there's still some stain here that really cannot be removed. Even I use the La Creuset cleaner here and the protector. Now, I just want to do a comparison. This is definitely a much newer La Creuset that I added. And this was purchased in 2020. I only use it a couple of times. You know, I don't use this as much. Uh, you might see in some of my Cheesecake Factory video. I've used this uh, for pasta, which is really good. Uh, so check out the description box below if you want to some, have some uh, Cheesecake Factory recipe. So, but if you can just compare the color here of these two, definitely there's going to be a big difference between the new one versus the old one. And it just might be because, you know, even like after a decade, they might actually have improved what's inside, how they do the coating, because I think the color is definitely more solid in terms of the paint job here, how they coat the enamel. Okay, so definitely uh, there's probably some sort of improvements versus something that I purchased back in 2008, okay? But definitely I think it's still very good right now, you know? It's not, you know, really bad. I mean, you gotta understand over the years, it will, you know, things will have their normal wear and tear and just, this is just your normal wear and tear. And do I need a new one? Absolutely not. All right, so these cast iron really last you a lifetime. I mean, depending on how you store it and how you use it. So, um, and of course, you know, if you're at the restaurant, if you were using one of these, these definitely, you know, can get destroyed, you know, in terms of, you know, the usage. But normally for our uh, normal use at home, you just don't really need that many. Well, so I hope you enjoyed this comparison, the cleaner, the review of the cleaner. So I wouldn't suggest like that you have to must purchase. I mean, if you think that you want to give this a try, definitely, if you like the results, what I have shown. Um, but definitely try using the baking soda just to clean up here and then tear first before you go use one of these. Um, and if you think this video is valuable and uh, you really enjoy watching, go ahead and give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button and feel free to share it with your friends and family who uses Le Creuset and if they are considering this bottle as well. So please comment below if you actually purchase one of these and I would love to hear your feedback as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Food Travel Shopping Channel.